The first piece of advice I would give to my old ego would be to have attitude. And by attitude, I mean having the willingness to do things, to actually learn and change things and do what you want with your days. The second piece of advice I would give is being open because actually all my knowledge, what I have received in my life is coming from mainly different people. And the third piece of advice I would say, always keep learning and that we are unique. So that everybody has one special characteristic that defines him or her. And that actually is, is your, your key value. So don't, don't be shy sometimes to, to show that you are different, that you have these qualities because the world is going to appreciate this unique char characteristic that you have. So in my business card, it's written my name, first of all, Marc Galufre, and then the position I belong to here in the Alliance headquarters at Munich and group planning and controlling. The coolest thing about my job is how international this, this company is, and especially my department. And then what I really enjoy about, about my, my daily tasks are um, that actually have to be really focused on some details, but at the same time, I have to have this holistic view. So the biggest restriction in, in my job is um, bringing all pieces together. And by pieces, I mean the different people that are in different departments. Because at the end, what we do in our role in GPC is to get the view of all the different finance related functions, being it group actuarial, group risk, group accounting, and other departments. And then what we need to do is provide the final decision on those on those topics. And the problem is that behind those those job descriptions and job roles, there are persons. And as they are come from different backgrounds, it's hard to actually match all their needs because there's people who might be really seeing the wall as a big opportunity. Then you turn to the other environment, which might see the wall as a big risk. And then it's hard sometimes to, to find the common role and the final the final answer, what would be the best advice. So I work in Allianz, and as many people probably know, it's one of the biggest insurer players in the world. And my role here is I'm responsible in for two countries. So those are Allianz Turkey and Allianz Greece. And on top of that, I'm responsible also for the definition of the planning and strategic process here at the group, together with um, uh, an analysis on, on the euro crisis that we actually perform here at group level to be able and to make sure the group is protected against some scenarios we have defined. We normally have around two, three meetings max during the day. We try to keep them as short as possible and as needed as possible because time is gold in that sense. And then what I normally spend my time or most of my time with is on my working working place trying to, to perform these analysis, being in contact with the OEs. So this I do mainly through my main two tools. This is the computer and my telephone. And on top of that, um, analyzing the reports we receive from my local entities. In that case, as I mentioned, Greece and Turkey. So working with paper, of course, and trying to find where I can see areas of development, improvement, where I see risks. And with that, I try to communicate that to my superiors, reach agreements and communicate with different areas, which is part of our job also, being in contact with different areas. And, and then we try to bring all these pieces together. And once we have all that together, we try to create this value that is required in our job. Well, I'm coming from Barcelona, from Spain. And what brought me here actually was one internship. But before coming into that, I would like to explain a little bit my background and what I did. And that was one of the first significant steps when I was 13, if I remember correctly, is going to Ireland. I went there one school year because I felt like my English wasn't that good. So I went, walked to my parents' room and said, um, I should learn English, I should improve. I have kind of the vision that this is going to be an important skill in my, in my asset of, of the brain. And I tried to convince them, and that was my first big step in the professional career, I would say, going one school year abroad in Ireland, which brought my English knowledge there. And then after that, finishing school, I applied for university, and there I studied business administration. That was in Barcelona, in Esade University. After finishing my bachelor, just to say, 
I did on top uh, master's, which is a five-year program, what um, ESADE offers. There I did a master in finance. In between, I had um, the, the, so the grades to access the double degree program that ESADE was offering together with the University of St. Gallen. So there I extended my curriculum in Andita's master in strategy. Um, after that, um, I did an internship here in Munich, and that's what actually brought me here in Allianz SE. My internship was in uh, the business division, what we call it here, and that's a strategic business planning department. And after that, I had to finish my last semester of my master's, so I went back to, to university. But in between, they communicated to me that my performance here was um, reasonably well, and they made me an offer to join the, the current position I'm, I'm holding now, group planning and controlling, and that's the way I came finally here. Well, I think it would be possible, however, it would be hard. Um, and this I mean because, of course, we are numerical driven, so it's important that you have a financial or number driven background. So, for example, we have colleagues that have studied mathematics, and but the majority have studied, like me, business administration or in a business administration related field. So, of course, um, it's possible, but has to be numerically driven. Regarding soft skills that I believe are critical in, in my department, I think, first of all, um, you have to be flexible enough to see what is the holistic view, because at the end we are responsible for both the strategic and the planning processes. But at the same time, you have to be enough detailed to actually grasp the, the, the things that are, are happening in a P&L or in a balance sheet. So we, you have to have a combination of both. And on top of that, I think um, communication is very important. So being a team player in, in our role is, is one of the key critical skills also. What comes on top is always helpful, but I believe those are the three key, key skills.